Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you um, how to um, use one of these um, pipette aids and how to transfer uh, media and solutions out of your tissue culture flasks and, and generally um, how you should be operating when you're doing your cell culture inside a biosafety cabinet. Now, if you watch the video on how to turn one of these on and if you're really observant, the, one, of the, uh, one thing you may notice is how quiet it is. Um, why can't you hear the fan? Okay, so I turned the fan off just for the purposes of this demonstration so you can actually hear what I'm saying um, uh, without the noise of the fan in the background. Okay, so because this is just a demonstration, I don't really need to keep the contents of this flask and the, this media and the solution sterile. So this is just to show you how to work in this space. Okay, so the first thing I'll start off with is this um, gadget here. This is called an electronic pipette aid. Um, it's also called a, called a pipette gun, but basically it, it's, a, it's just another form of a pipette. It's a liquid handling device, and it's designed to be used with these um, serological pipettes. Okay, um, If you look at the top here, it has a battery indicator that tells you how much battery charge is in, in here. It's a rechargeable device, so if, uh, if you're pressing buttons and, it, and you, it's not doing anything, it could be that the battery is flat, so just check that. It, there's a little connection here to, re, to, to plug it in to recharge the device. But hopefully all the, the pipette aids that um, you'll have in the Prac class will all be pre-charged by the Prac staff when you come to use it. Okay. You can also see a couple of buttons here to change the settings. One is to change the speed. You can see here it's set for low, and you can and, uh, change that to high by pressing the speed button. Okay. So there's another button here for mode, and it cycles between uh, two modes. You, you can see this is um, has a little arrow, and the other mode has a, a little what looks to be like a liquid drop. Okay, so if you have it on that liquid drop, basically what that does is when you're ejecting liquids, it, it does it very slowly, it, you know, in a drop-wise manner. Um, but if you have it set with this arrow here, when you um, press the bottom button to eject the liquid, it, it comes out fairly rapidly. Um, so I think for what your purpose is, you want to have it on this um, set to this um, uh, fast dispense mode. Um, so the other thing I didn't explain was that there's two buttons. One is to draw up liquid, and another button is to dispense or to eject liquid. Okay, so you you typically hold the pipette gun in your hand like this, um, and just use your index and your middle finger to basically suck up liquid and to eject liquid. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like. You do is get one of these serological pipettes. Um, you can see that's the end that goes into the pipette gun, and this is the the tip here that, that goes into the solution uh, that you want to uh, draw up. Okay, so you take the, the cover off of the serological pipette and you basically push it in. Okay, so you want to avoid touching this end here because that's the bit that's going to be going into your cell culture, into, into your media. So you want to avoid touching that to keep that as clean as possible. So always handle the serological pipette at, at the top here. And to draw up liquid, as I said, it's basically you put it into the solution and you hold the top button to draw up liquid. Okay, and you hold the bottom button down to dispense liquid. Um, and you can see on these serological pipettes, um, there's um, marks here to indicate uh, what volume you're taking up and, and, and dispensing, right? So if we wanted to take up um, six mils, it's at this mark here, okay? So six, right? I hope you can see that. Uh, so if you wanted to draw up six mils, you want to go up to that mark. You can see there, all right? And then you dispense the liquid by pressing down. Once you're done, remove the serological pipette and you can discard that into a, um, a, a in, in discard that in an appropriate way and into a biohazard bin or 
or um, whatever the prac staff have left for you to, to throw away that, that serological tip. So one thing I forgot to mention was that when you're drawing up liquid into the serological pipette, just be mindful that um, you're watching the level of that, of the volume of that liquid as it's being drawn up. Here you can see there's a little filter or a little cotton bud here that's a filter, and, and that's designed to stop liquid from moving past that point into the barrel of this um, pipette aid. So this pipette aid is not designed to draw liquid up into this barrel. If you draw it up into this barrel, you will block this up and, and, and damage it, and, and then this will become inoperable and we'll have to take it away for servicing, okay? So when you're, when you're drawing up a volume, just pay attention to what you're doing. Um, you know, don't just focus on what's happening down here at the bottom, but also have in your peripheral vision what's happening at the top of that pipette. It's too easy to just hold your finger down and forget and not be paying attention and to be drawing up media into the top of that um, of that serological pipette into this um, into this uh, mechanism that's the that's the actual pipette aid. So you shouldn't ever draw media up that close to this um, filter. Uh, this is just for demonstration. Um, so you don't want to uh, take the liquid all the way up to there. Um, this is a 10 mil serological pipette. And the 10 mil mark is, is here, right, at the zero point. If I turn this around, it says 10 on the other side. So this, is, this serological pipette is designed to transfer a maximum of 10 mils. If you want to do more than 10 mils, you basically have to do it twice or get a larger size serological pipette. This extra space here is just as um, um, for backup, I guess, to to just in case you overshoot that mark, you have some um, uh, space to work with before it ends up inside this pipette, pipette aid mechanism. Okay.